Alrighty. Damn, I forgot my fucking phone. So, it is... I think it's like fucking... Oh. It's 3.49 p.m. Um, pretty fucking late. Not really. Normally I wake up around 12 or whatever. I mean, I've been up since like around 1-ish, honestly. Uh, I've been kind of just here and there in my house right now. And... You just brush my teeth right now. So today we really have nothing planned. It's a rest day. I got some courses to do for WADA. And I still haven't finished just like 14 of them in so long. I want to skip through them all and skim through them all. But I can't because there's still like these little, what do you call it? I don't know what the fuck to call it. But like a small, not courses itself, but like you have to match the cards with this and that, see what's right and what's wrong, and then you have to answer a few questions, select a few tabs, see if it's correct or not, to kind of know you're kind of keeping up with the fucking program, but yeah, that's that, after that, I don't think I have anything else to do besides edit a few videos right now for my stories, and yeah, pretty much that's it, that's pretty much most of my rest day, I'm going to show you all a bit like of what I like to do on my free time sometimes. Just to kind of get this, um, what do you call it? Not necessarily my ideas from it, but also to kind of get the motivation a bit randomly uh, and enjoy. It, not gonna lie, it, it's not motivation and enjoy written necessarily, but it's like it's like reminiscing in a sense, like of uh, like these specific moments and eras that I used to have that I still kind of connect to and correlate with. Such as like um, the pastel ghosts era, the um, let's see, the Nick Peterson era, where it's just like straight up weather outside and ambient music everywhere. <laughs> you know, it's a vibe specific areas, and um, so yeah, that's. I, I I think it's more than likely just like, in a way, moods in a sense. We call them vibes. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. Um, that's why I watch certain videos sometimes and get kind of like this into the mood of it, and it also helps kind of influence what kind of content I want to create and how I want the coloring to look because I love color grading and it's very fun. And yeah, editing is just fucking awesome. I've been I've been kind of slacking a bit lately on um, like going all out on special effects, visual effects and all that shit, cause uh, lately everything's just been like focused out and more on powerlifting like on lifting in the gym rather than like like on behind the camera like hey man I need you to move it here I need it to be here, I need it to look at this angle like I'm, I'm not really concerned about angles just prop it up, boom, cord move it from this place to that place and that's it it's very simple videos for me uh, it's a very easy process I'm already used to the routine but, um, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, also, I got a, a, a bill in the mail. I'm fucked. <laughs> well, kind of. Not really. But, like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to go to jail or anything. But, <laughs> so I owe, like, almost 4500 bucks of uh, student loans or whatever. And, honestly, I'm not going to pay it back yet. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pay it back because I never got my money from college. It's fucking crazy. But, um. It's weird. It's really fucking weird. But, um, I'm just gonna, I have to call them today. And be like, tell them, look, I didn't get the money. Take it back. I don't know what the fuck. Where I, I, don't, I haven't seen a penny from it. So just take it. I don't want it. You know, fuck, fuck that. And if it doesn't work out, then I'm genuinely, genuinely fucked. So, fuck it. You know, it is what it is. I'm still gonna go out and, like, not let things like this or people around me distract me from going to worlds and doing this shit you know like I have to fucking do it if I really want to do it you know um so, so there's a different mindset you have to actually have I was talking about this with my mentor recently do you think a world champion is going to be stressing about what this person said or do you think that world champion is going to be stressing about Drake having his beef do you th no it's not gonna help them break the world records when they're on the platform at all deer and prep never 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 so why focus on it right now if it's not gonna help you 
Don't focus on it. I promise you, there's a specific mindset you have to have in order to get there. And if you don't have it already, and don't, what do you call it, learn it by now, until then, you won't be successful. You will not be successful. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. So, same thing for me. If I really want to become successful in the entrepreneur world, I obviously have to dial in and stop focusing on this stupid shit around me in the valley. Like, legit, this stupid fucking clown house. It's a fucking clown house. And I'm going off on it now. I'm literally getting all this energy or whatever. But I got to literally stop focusing on all that, dial in on what the fuck I really want in my life because that's, at the end of the day, going to revolve around me and also, like, it's going to be my life. I want it to be my life. So all I got to do is focus on it. And if I don't focus on it, my life stays the fucking same, which is what I was focusing on previously, and it ruined me. Not ruined me, but it, it kept me back from what I really wanted to be. So I hope this helps. Thank you guys for watching that at least. And I hope you guys take into consideration. And um, uh, what is it? I'm not trying to scare you guys about college either, honestly. Like, if you guys don't know what the fuck you're going to do in life, and you want to settle, in a sense, it's for a 9-to-5 job, basically. It's, it's completely fine, honestly, for mediocre people, in a sense. Um, like it, and no, It's no problem with it. Like, the only reason I see, like, an understanding of, like, why you want to go to college is to make your parents proud, at least, you know? Like, go ahead and, you know, make mom happy, make dad happy, make your family happy. Be like, you're the first to go to college, badass, bro. And, and even if they didn't go to college, or even if they did go to college, I... It's a little more down to the side, like, bro. They they should know better and be like, dude, they're really they do like if they tell you to go to college, it's because they don't believe in you enough, or they care about you enough, but they don't believe in you enough to kind of make it well out in the real world. Like the real world, fucking, it'll just bend you over and fucking pound your shit hard, pound it, like, pound it, bro. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> okay, so literally, okay, and even at that, like, let's say you go to college, right? When you get out, life is still going to lay its balls on you, bro. And it fucking sucks. Whether you drop out, graduate, or never even go, life is regardless going to lay its balls on you, and bills are just going to cream you, bro. Like, they're literally going to fucking cream you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's the reality of things, though. And, and what it's all it all comes down to what you really want, and do you believe in yourself. A lot of people take the saying, do you believe in yourself, for granted, because... The moment they get stood up with any small little detail that goes against their comfort, they're like, ah, whatever. They, they, they literally, they, they, they immediately back down and they don't, like, take it down to the serious level where they're like, like, uh, like fucking Batman down to that detail. Like, damn, I'm going to go fucking put this sock away, bro. Like, I, it, it's serious. I, it doesn't have to be a sock, but I'm just trying to put it in perspective. Like, you have to be so fucking focused, bro. And it's weird, but it's true. And... I'm just, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going all over the place or whatever, but that's just how it is, man. Like, if you want to be a doctor, lawyer, or something very important, go ahead and do it. Honestly, the fucking world needs it, so that's cool. I've, I've heard a lot of people say that before. Um, I mean, I believe it too. I don't even remember who says it. <laughs> but I just see it on the internet. So, um, I, I guess, I guess. You don't have to fucking listen to me, you know. Just do your own thing. Don't let me influence your life either, you know. Um... But yeah, I'm just telling you what's working for me. So, yeah, just lock it in, cutting everything around me. Just literally focus on that specific thing. That's why I don't do anything throughout the day. Legit, my day is fucking boring, and I'm here to show you that. I really want to show you that, what it's like for a day in Justin Chapa. And I know people are like, does this guy have a job? You know, does this guy, like, go out anywhere? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of people probably forgot about me because I don't even go out there. Like, I am not outside in the real world, like, not, I'm not inside the real world, but, like, I'm not in places where, like, I'm hanging out here and there where people are going to, like, walk by me. I'm not hanging out where the mediocre people are hanging out, bro, besides the fucking gym. That's it. The gym is where some people are nice to be there. Some people you may meet or whatever, but you really got to go out there. Like, cities. Like, you got to go to fucking different cities to meet people who are fucking gym owners, who are fucking six-figure entrepreneurs, people who run businesses, people who are fucking distributors. Like, bro. You won't do that by just going to the fucking gym at home. You literally have to go to cities and do these fucking events. You literally have to do this. But when you go out to, like, Starbucks, when you go out to fucking McDonald's and simple, mediocre place, you're not going to find those people there. 
it's a slim fucking chance. But I doubt it. <laughs> I still doubt it to this day. But I, if you really want up the chances, you got to get out there. Just saying. And, yeah. I hope any of this information really does help. But um, right now, I just got offered to go to the store with my mother. So it's like a side quest. And I'm just going to tell you right now. I, yeah, it's a side quest, all right? And, cool. I'm going to go... Probably should, like I don't eat even I don't even eat bro like <laughs> I woke up I did not eat I just brushed my teeth I fucking propped this shit up right here and uh, yeah so we're gonna probably get an energy drink and maybe maybe gummies I don't know and that's literally gonna be my fucking diet right now and it's not bad an energy drink is only good because I love to like I don't know what it is but stimulant is just like an addiction of mine and it it's not even a bad addiction it really fucking helps me on either editing or actually uh, exploring my, not morality, but my, uh, what do you call it? It helps me lock in on what I'm already wanting to do. You know what I mean? It, it, it helps me focus. Like, literally gives me the focus I need, basically. Or it enhances the focus I already have without it. So, yeah, we're going to go do that. I hope it's focused, but we got some gummies. About 500 calories for the whole packet. I haven't seen this before, but peaches and cream. It was orange cream, but, yeah. Energy drink right there, boom. Lock in on the computer. Get shit done that I need to be getting done. Hmm. I seem to figure out more about, more of a strategic content. When I, I was talking to my mentor about it, I was like, holy shit. Like, he's giving me these great ideas, and just, I'm going to try them out. Like, why am I not going to try them out? He's been getting all this information, giving all this information, and it's great. <laughs> so we're gonna test it out, see what it's about, lock in on what I really want to do. So, yeah, try this out right now. I've, I've tried it out before. It's really fucking good. Try something more. Peaches and cream pie. Yeah, they know a lot about cream. I said because I had a 12 minute fucking speech <laughs> with these people cream. about how live creams you still. Bro, so this are these the peaches? I wish. Bro, this is peach rings. They're not peach rings, but they are watermelon rings. The most unhealthiest shit ever. But, I'm not gonna argue with it. And, <laughs> tastes good. I'm still fucking shredded. It doesn't mess with the goals. Shredded bra. <laughs> Literally, so. Yeah. Hey, you don't open all the way. I'm the person to open the can all the way. So, yeah, I'm gonna do these videos now, for sure. Maybe I'll do like a time lapse in the back of me editing shit. Yeah, I should do that right now. I'll set up the tripod. Boom. And yeah. I just posted a real, when like, flying, motivational one. Like Watching some YouTube right thing. now. No, just any type of YouTube. Fly, Content creator YouTube. You Same shit. <laughs> you're in control of the whole thing. They have, like, uh, we're just going to finish up on this. Like and, uh, talk to you more about IG real analytics. So you don't Trash. Really get the full capabilities out of it. Alright, so. There's these little fucking dogs in my yard. That, or not in my yard, but they're, they're in my neighborhood, right? They just, I don't know where the fuck they get trash from. But they get it from, like, either their own neighbor's house. Because we, we literally have ours discreet in trash bags. They're, like, on the shelf and shit put away. But there's, like, they, they, they grab gloves and fucking, like, garden equipment. Bro, bro, we have to clean up our yard literally almost every single day because at the nighttime we just catch them in our yard just fucking around and it's so annoying. I swear, I hate it. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up all this shit. Just wanna kinda show y'all what the fuck I do in a day too. So yeah, this is uh, commonly, it's pretty often. I mean, I don't do it every day, but what do you call I'm just saying, like, this is an often shit I deal with, but yeah. So, it's about a full fucking bag full of trash, random shit. I don't know where the fuck it's from. 
So yeah, so they just like show up and fuck all this shit up. <laughs> and they just leave it out in the front. So it's just like, damn. But yeah. Alright, so we're pretty much gonna edit my fucking hook grip nail. People call me, not people call me, but they, they refer to this shit as a coke nail. This is fucking insane, but I pull hook grip, so piss off. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna edit the video that we're currently filming right now just to be ahead of the game. And also, as soon as we're done with that, we're gonna take my water courses as I mentioned before. So, yeah, I'll see you all in the next clip, which is probably gonna be me just chilling also again. Not really chilling, but probably eating what I'm, what's next I'm gonna eat. Um, and then... Also, what I'm studying, maybe some more, I don't know, probably a fucking catch up on what I've been studying today, whatever. Just what I learned, you know, coming along, and just what I'm focused on, so yeah. Oh, shit. Boom. Insane. I hope it focuses on me, but anyways, um, it is currently, I've been, I kind of, I took like three more courses out of the 14, um, so right now we're probably on course eight. Um, and yeah, right now it is currently, uh, it is currently 10.30 p.m., so we've been kind of at it for about three hours, and, uh, yeah, what is this, gonna be my first meal for my day, probably my only meal, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm be eating right now, so. Alright, so we have some solid potatoes. I'm probably gonna get some more beans, honestly, and then probably another piece of chicken soon. So I can have my protein in. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I had an energy drink earlier again today. It was a venom. Similar to this one, but it's not that one. So, yeah, some tortillas as well inside. Alright, so it's a fairly simple fucking, in, what do you call it, not in, ingredients as well as the bowl that I made which is egg, ground beef and just some cheese, bring it on to the side. So, as you can see, simple dish right here, I'm going to finish off the day with this and probably, I'll show you all this, um, it's, it, it's bad, but it's good, it's not, it's not even good, I feel like it's just straight fucking bad, but, so I drink this sometimes random about eight to ten ounces worth of like of um you can call it tea or straight sugar water basically so there's this tea mixture like you you, you it's like powder um it's like kool-aid mix it's just straight up like 50 grams or is it 25 i don't know it's 25 grams of carbs and sugar like even out and it just straight up replenishes all of my glycogen storages that i have been just like depleted from the past workouts um such as like of my cardio when I'm like super sweaty and after I'm like and I always fast too so like all of that just gets eaten away while I work out instead of um, using direct food and then maintaining whatever I have in my body before I work out but anyways um, yeah so I use that most of the time to kind of get my glycogen stored motherfucker really so so I try to replenish my glycogen storages as much as I can, and it's going again. Holy shit. This is going to be a problem. That is not good. It's going to fall. So, like, I pretty much tape. I pretty much tape. Or not tape, but it's like a... Oh, fucking look at this shit. What the fuck? And it's just if I push down and it, fuck my light. All right, we've got it situated with a drone guard and a random ass pre-workout tub. Okay, I hope it's focused on me, but we're gonna put this meal down, and we're going to finish up the last lesson that I was 
70% of the way done with. And then, I think I'm going to watch some Nick Peterson videos or David Lay videos just to kind of like get in the vibe of the gym. So when I wake up, it's the first thing kind of on my mind, get focused on it. And just pretty much just to not aspire to be like them, but mm, because everyone does it. Everyone has a gym life, right? But at the same time, you know what? No, I should probably study something else, something more important. Cause it's it's fun to have entertainment at times after work or whatever, but is it necessary? Hmm. So yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm be doing till 3 a.m. It's 11:13. I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna down this and a cup of tea. Lipton tea. It's a mix, but yeah. Try those out if you can. I love it. I'll see you all tomorrow in the morning. Probably when I wake up after a shower or something. And, um, I wanna, maybe I'll catch up with something before I go to bed. To let you don't know when I'm going to bed. Because sometimes it's not always three, but it's like always two. Two something near three. Sometimes three fifty nine. But, we'll see. noticed any of that there's like two frames in the previous time lapse and I thought it was pretty fucking funny <laughs> I was like okay so I have five seconds in between two shots or a few shots I was like alright let's see if they'll capture this and it did so if y'all noticed it <laughs> I thought it was pretty fucking funny it's fucking one of the time lapse but anyways I was watching some Nick Peterson right now I always like to watch his content uh, reason why is because it's very peaceful when he brings out his ambient edits and then well it's the fucking gym so very awesome to see a guy bench 315 cool fucking 600 pounds for reps really motivates me to deadlift and not gonna lie it's like man I really need to use the deadlift bar sometimes for fun but I was thinking to myself I want to deadlift 455 right 4 3 by 7 right I was like that's my next goal or maybe even a 4 by 5 455 whatever just to kind of like up my level of volume and tolerance. So, yeah, like we'll see tomorrow, but I feel like if I were to do that on week four instead of week one immediately, instead of jumping straight to my fucking goal, kind of build my way up to it. So, we're probably gonna do like, I'm thinking 425 for three or four, three by seven tomorrow. Um, and then with like a I don't know, probably like a, it's a single tomorrow, at like, I'm hoping, I don't know, let's see how it goes, I, I really want it to be at 6, so on a 6.5, um, just kind of keep it chill, keep the technique on point, but I'm going to do it hook grip, so when my hook grip comes around, I'm going to make sure it's not going to slip, play the fucking clip if I can, if it doesn't, shame on you, just, you don't want to fucking be, you're, you're lazy, you don't want to fucking edit that shit, but anyways, 
hate when I say throw that shit up and then nothing happens. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I'm talking about editing. But anyways, now we're talking back to the deadlift. Yeah, we're gonna hit some deadlifts after bench. Tomorrow is my close grip day, so I'm explaining to my workout the night before because it's like kind of pondering. Whatever. I need to kind of like lay it out on Excel sheet instead of just having it kind of locked in my head because I have a good memory when it comes to my powerlifting like split, my block. Like I have it on deck. Like I literally forget the fucking dates, guys. Like I don't know what today is. Like I, the top of my head, I don't remember. Uh, it's either like fucking Tuesday to Thursday. I don't know what today is. <laughs> like I don't go by days anymore. My mindset is completely fucking changed. It's insane, guys. And look, I don't even know if it's focused right now, but 117. It's one in the fucking morning right now. Pondering out here, making content. It's pretty fun, honestly. Like my lifestyle is fucking insane. I like it. I like it. I love it. No, I love it. It can be better soon though because there's some goals I have to crush and I haven't crushed yet. So until then, the lifestyle's changed. Or the lifestyle has stayed, remains the same and until then it changes. And um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, no, I hope you guys are enjoying the kind of like the the home type of shots at night I'm getting. You know? Um Yeah. So I think I'm gonna head to bed and like I don't know, 2 o'clock maybe. I'm thinking about getting back on the computer for courses. Because I want to finish up the course I was on so I can get to like the 8th or ninth course. I don't remember. So I can just finish it faster. Because there's a second one after that. And it's taking forever. Like, it's 9 lessons per course per module. Like, it. it's like a, a microwave inside a microwave inside a microwave. You're probably like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> but yeah, that's the courses right now for WADA. W-A-D-A. So it's a required course for me to take and get my certificate for. So I can be on Team America. Literally representing Team fucking America at the IPF stage. World Championship Juniors. But still, I'm going to be a fucking world champion, guys. That's insane. Like, I'm already a national champion. Like... Dude, I have nothing right now. Like, I'm so glad. Like, you guys don't understand how focused I am. It's insane. Like, look at me. I'm alone, bro. And I'm like, I'm focused. I have a fucking vision. I have gains I want to fucking chase. I have goals. I have ambitions. I want more than just powerlifting after it. I fuck college. I want a fucking lifestyle that I'm like energized for like I, this is me this is fucking me man this is so me this is so justin you know when people are like we're so back i'm no i'm so fucking justin that's what it is and i don't give a fuck what anybody thinks because this is me you know fuck fuck you <laughs> if you don't like it get the fuck out of here um <laughs> yeah no it's like I don't know, I'm like really happy, honestly. Um, not necessarily happy, but like, I'm not even talking about the nasty shit that's going on around my life or whatever, but um, I'm just so focused, driven, like Goggins fucking says, bro. I'm fucking driven, man. And even the days where I fucking fail, I'm like miserably, multiple times, and it sets me back, it fucking kills my body, whatever, like, dude, the fact that I still get to go to the gym and look fucking amazing, <laughs> like literally stay focused and continue to live another fucking day it's priceless man it's fucking priceless it's to be Justin at most importantly to be fucking Justin like wow wow music's hitting right now ambient music is fucking hitting that's why I love fucking Nick Peterson's vibe, man. It's so chill. He doesn't have all this fucking clout around him. He doesn't have all these friends or anything around him. He goes to the gym at 3 a.m. by himself. He's just focused. He's, like, grinding, putting in the fucking work to be the best version of himself. He's not comparing himself to other people out there. He's a very humble person, and I admire that about the guy. I, I want to get on a podcast with certain few people in the future to talk about powerlifting and, like, how it really works and like to kind of show people the right perspective that they need to have so they can actually be not happy but confident in their progress and in what they've done like and 
what do you call it, hardships, like whatever they're going through, just like have confidence to go through it and push through it without focusing on comparing themselves to fucking Austin Perkins or Taylor Atwood or Jamal Browner. Like, a lot of us have fucking done that. A lot of us. A lot of us. And we get injured. We get injured and it's because we we keep trying to rush the process. And I was talking to my mentor about it again today uh, before or in between the time I was taking my courses for water. And that's uh, what we were talking about. We got to that conclusion where people want to rush the process and they don't want to take responsibility as an adult sometimes and they don't want to lock in and they know what they have to do. It's just that they make these decisions where it gets them farther and further away from what they truly want because they settle for comfort. And those things go a long way and people don't understand that. Like you have to detail it down and fucking baby it down for them so they can understand it. You had to like create a whole fucking simulator for them just for them to understand. But yeah. Well, I'm gonna finish up on this and if I get into like the Nick Peterson not Nick Peterson, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm watching him right now still again. But um if I go take some more courses, I'm probably might just time lapse that too, honestly, because I gotta show y'all me putting in the work um, to become a world champion. I know y'all would love to see that, cause I'm sure some of y'all aspire to be some of that, or be a world champion yourself, or maybe your own world champion. But don't lie to yourself, though. I promise you, you the day you start lying to yourself or rushing the process, you're gonna hurt yourself, and you're gonna fuck yourself. So take it slow, takes years. Don't forget, I've been in the game for over six years, almost six years, just a little, um, nearly six years. So if you're out here, one to three years powerlifting, guys, chill the fuck out. Like literally, chill the fuck out. I promise you. Like I understand you're fucking motivated. You got all this energy. You're taking all this pre-workout. Um, you're ready to hit the weights. You're ready to fucking put on all this gear or whatever just to fucking do what I did. You can't rush three years into fucking one year, guys. I promise you that. I fucking promise you that. Unless you're a newbie, then you can burst your gains in the beginning. But at the end of that, like after that, it just it's, it slows down your progress. I promise. So I've been stuck at 500 forever because honestly, dude, it, it's fucking hard. Like my little body can only take so much, bro. One fucking heavy lift, I'm fucked for the week. <laughs> so managing fatigue is a bitch. But yeah, that's... Where I'm getting at the message here is just don't rush greatness. You can't rush it. I promise you that. But um, yeah, I'm going to cut the clip here and uh, let's carry on to the next clip. Alright, so it is, let's see if it has any focal length on this shit. 222. I don't know. It is 222. I'm going to go to bed already. See you all in the morning. And then uh, we'll get to the gym. Yeah. I don't know what fucking time it is, but, uh... Fuck, guys, we're all cooked. I'm gonna go shower. So, squat... Now, oh, fuck it. Fuck it up again. Uh, bench and deads today. I'm gonna take you along with it. I just got up. What time is it? It is 12.02, motherfucker. 12.02. PR. Okay. <laughs> but... So, I had texted Nick yesterday about the videos, because he hasn't dropped a video in a while. And I've been kind of watching the same ones over and over and over, which is all of them. But I replied back and said, I forgot my password. How do you forget your password? Bro? It happens. Uh, but, okay. Thanks, Nick. That's your last part. Let it be. I wanna put it down, I wanna fucking like, I have to like, reach out and shit, just put it on the tripod, right? I don't know. Just fucking hold it, fucking. Alright guys, so, uh, yes, 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 yes. You gotta fucking game. Yeah. Alright, I hope it's focused on me, whatever. But anyways, yeah, people are asking like, what do I, uh, what do I do for my hair? Nobody asked. So, 
Um, I don't use anything on my body really besides like deodorant, body spray, toothpaste maybe, like fucking shampoo. And a C4. C4. Like I really don't put anything on my body. People ask, or not people ask, but like you wonder why or like there's these saw these fucking chemicals people are using for their face like oh moisturizer this moisturizer that like I mean I guess but at the same time why don't you just start fucking eat, eating healthy like stop fucking around you know like stop eating so much bullshit like the reason why I don't fucking have so much acne or whatever I mean I get it here and there I know I do is because um, well I don't eat often much bullshit like and even if I do it's like something that doesn't affect my hormones crazy so we gotta figure out what kind of oils you want in your body and on your body because legit a lot of things that are manufactured are primarily made from synthetic oils and synthetic sugar so don't fuck with that all right um but yeah I'm, I'm just telling you you know i'm not perfect either i'm not trying to justify no to stay away from fucking oils like that but i'm just telling you what can happen okay um but yeah i don't use anything on my hair uh just to get the message clear <laughs> just raising cane sauce. Yeah, just raising cane sauce for your hair and you're good. <laughs> Tripping over right there. Fuck. Fuck, imagine that your hair's gonna fuck you. Slip back, sexy, tub of loop. Your hair's gonna grow muscles on its muscles. Fuck me. Yeah, but, um... So, oh yeah. So, most of my cinematic footage is primarily filmed on this 50mm 1.8 lens. So, it looks really focused on most of my footage and very very like sharp so yeah this is gonna be my training footage for this one this this video uh we're gonna hit some good deads and secondary bench so <laughs> so yeah let's get it guys i'll see you on the gym
So today's workout was absolutely, it was good, it was great, it was great. I uh, was able to hit some decent weights that I was actually good to start off with without overshooting, yet kind of undershooting, not really, I didn't undershoot at all. Why is because my hamstrings and adductors are still a little bit sore for deadlifts. And well, when it comes to my close grip bench, I was able to push myself and I'm glad because that's been my lacking point before because I've done like 242 for a set of five before. I was like, whoa, 235 is not supposed to be more like that. But we're gonna bring it back and get stronger at that so our bench can blow the fuck up. And deadlifts, my adductors are still fucking fatigued. And then, um, as you saw, one of my, my first working set, I tried getting a set of seven with hook grip my thumb just kept slipping, fucking cracked my thumb a bit. Uh, not really cracked it, but it just deformed the fucking nail again and keeps bending it. It makes it curve. It's fucking weird. But um, yeah, after that, the second set, I tried my best to do as many with hook, and then I put on the straps for the rest of the sets. Because um, I'm trying to get my hook grip better. As you saw, my open nationals, and I'm open, was it? No, I mean my uh, junior nats, where open nationals, I fucking wish. Now, but 53, or my recent national championship, I um, I dropped 500 and I luckily got 500 and it still kind of fucking slipped so I was lucky to get that. So we're trying not to be we're, we're trying not to be lucky when it comes to going to worlds. We're not trying to get we're not trying to win by luck. We're trying to win by skill, execution, just beautiful, just fucking planned out on the platform, not fucking around, you know. Because it's my first world championship, I want to take it fucking serious, right? Um, not that I'm not taking it serious, but I'm just saying you have to. Like, if you really want to win, do the best you want to be, or best you want to do, then fucking take it serious. So, yeah, that's the overview of the workout. Just did my accessories, had a good pump here and there. Awesome physique. Um, so, I right know I haven't eaten at all. I've only had a C4 energy drink and some water for the pump. It's really helpful, honestly. Um, I need to get some fucking pre workout soon, honestly. Um, we had ran a mile, or we just, we, we traveled a mile because I still did a little bit of walking to kind of start it off and then I finished it off with, um, with jogging and then I finished the, like the last bit of it off with a little bit of extra walking. Um, but yeah, we're PRing on cardio, so that's really, really good. And that's awesome, yeah. So right now I have this like mental clarity every time I do cardio like that because I get this amazing sweat from it and it really helps me out honestly like when i go home i'm able to lock in and kind of focus especially after gym as a rest day i'm kind of more groggy and stuff like that so that's why i require like more energy drinks to kind of how do i say to focus uh, it's not that i require it but it's like i do it to do like to just i know when i'm doing really really good and when i'm trying my best so i want to get to that level every single time and every single day and focus on what the fuck i really got to do but um yeah that's the end of the workout we're gonna. I'll see you at home. Uh, show you my next meal or whatever. Um, I'm gonna start editing on my, my on this video right now because honestly, I'm pretty hyped about it. I'm pretty hyped to show you all this video. Day in the life of a national champion. So, yeah, this is what bench and deads was. Hope you all enjoyed though. Honestly, I'm hoping you all are gonna learn something from this too. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all when we get home. Mark, what are you on? I am on SoundCloud. Bro's on a lore of David Lade's OG music, bro. Oh, shit. Definitely influenced in this video. Fucking crazy ass workout we had. I'm about to go cook up a meal right now. What's up, Mark? Bro literally thinks he's David Lade. Bro thinks he's David Lade. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go cook up a meal, guys. And, uh, yeah. Alright, see y'all. Alrighty, so shit. we made the big bowl of random shit, such as ground beef, uh, boiled white rice, and egg, and some taco cheese. We're gonna eat this up, more water, edit, and um, I don't know what else do you guys want to see after this. Like, what? What else am I gonna do after this? Same thing as yesterday, kind of. <laughs> Just uh, been chilling. So um, another day. Another day, another fucking dollar, you know? And if I keep going like this, you know, and studying and doing all the shit that I'm doing, it's not necessarily shit that you call work, um, it'll get me far. It'll get me pretty far. You wonder why 
And not why, but you wonder how. You're like, what the fuck is going on? But like, when you really focus and stay consistent, things really actually end up like they get you pretty fucking far. Like you're not distracted. You're not worrying about what the fuck other people are doing. You lock in. You lock in. You focus on what really, really fucking matters, and you should definitely change your values. Like, what the fuck you value? You value what fucking Jerry Springer said over there? You're gonna fucking follow Jerry Springer, and not yourself. So, value what really matters to you, and the goals that really matter to you. That'll actually get you to the life you truly want. So, 